So here I have laid out the supplies I will be using today. I have these three silver photo frames from the Dollar Tree, as well as these two mini photo frames in black and in silver. Three more frames in black that are larger frames as well. I have this glitter table runner. Then I have this diamond wrap and some black sheer wrap as well. I have some little jewels that I found in my crafting box, some adhesive diamonds wrap, some pearl beads, and I got these in three different sizes, as well as some leftover ribbon that I have from my Christmas um, crafting. And then I have these little flower pots that I found at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I have these C's in rhinestone and in beaded black that I found on Etsy. The first thing I'm going to do is take apart these frames and remove everything from the inside. And if you guys are wondering what I have on my thumb, they are rubber caps and it helps to not get burnt with the hot glue gun. So I definitely recommend wearing these. They are actually for nail techs, but they work perfect for crafting as well because I always burn my thumbs. So these are actually even good when you're removing these little hooks from your frames. And I ended up just grabbing my pliers because it just made it easier to remove these. If you guys have a cuticle remover, that works too. For this next step, we are going to take our E6000 and our hot glue gun. And what we are doing is just gluing our glass onto our frame. Now we are going to take one of our empty frames and the, just glue this frame on top of our first frame. And why we're doing this extra layer is because we want to make sure that our bottle can stand up without tipping over. So once we do this, we are just going to apply some weight onto our glass and let this dry for at least five to eight hours. So I'm just going to put this weight on here and set this aside. And then I'm going to do the same step with our last frame and one more piece of glass. You're stuck in my mind just all the time. I'm falling for you. And tell, tell me your secrets. I will tell, tell you my secrets. And again, apply some weight to this glass and set it aside. So I ended up just letting my frames dry overnight and what I am doing now is I remove the weight from my frames and I am going to take some Windex and just wipe the inside of the glass because if there's any fingerprints on there once this is glued together you can't get them out. So make sure the inside of your glass is clean. Now I'm taking these diamonds and if you guys watched my last tutorial on the DIY tray, this was used in the tray and I had some left over so I decided to use them in this tutorial because the least amount of materials you guys have to go out and buy, the better. So I am just going to pour this right onto the glass and I'm going to add some more because who doesn't like more diamonds? So let's add some more diamonds on our glass and now what I am noticing is that the diamonds, especially the smaller ones, are kind of sinking into the creases of my frame and that's not going to be good because once I tilt the bottle, um, it's going to sink inside and we're not going to see all of our diamonds. So I'm going to take this little styrofoam piece that I found laying around and this was from the inside of my frame when I removed everything. So I'm just going to hot glue this little styrofoam um, piece on here. I'm just going to glue it right onto the sides of my frame. And that's just going to let my diamonds rest on top of my frame. Now I'm going to take my third frame that has the glass glued to it and just glue it on top of my other two frames to seal this together. 
And once again, we are going to apply some weight and let this dry for at least five hours, but ideally overnight. Next, I'm going in with my glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to hot glue this onto all four sides of the front of my frame. And this ribbon was literally like the perfect size. I barely even had to cut it down, and it added a really nice touch. And guys, don't forget to flip your frame over and do the same thing to all four sides of the back of the frame. For this next part, I am using my diamond adhesive from the Dollar Tree to cover up the remainder of my uncovered frame. And this adhesive made it super easy. I just had to measure the length and width of my frame and cut it out and just stick it right on. And again, I'm doing this on all four sides until all of my frames are covered. So if you guys got a little messy with the gluing part, don't worry about it because it's all going to be covered up once you place your diamond adhesive on. So now you guys are going to grab your rhinestone C's and this is what we are going to use to make our Chanel logo. So I am going to take my C's and I'm going to form the logo and hot glue it directly on to the small glass piece that I got from my little mini silver frame. And just be really careful with this part, just because if you put too much glue and the glue leaks out through the sides of the logo, it's going to appear on your glass and you're going to see it when your project is done. So make sure you're not putting too much glue. Don't rush this part, guys, because if you mess anything up or if your logo is crooked, it's going to be really difficult to fix it. So just take your time with gluing it on to your bottle. So once you have your glass cleaned and glue your logo on, you guys are going to measure out and find out what is the middle of your frame, which is now your bottle. So once you guys found the middle of your bottle and you glue your piece of glass on, then you can attach your silver frame right on top. So now I'm going to take these little mini flowers in a vase that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to rip the flowers out and any stuffing that I have inside the vase I'm going to just remove with my pliers. And this is going to be my Chanel bottle cap. So this is going to be glued directly on top of my Chanel bottle. And again, guys, make sure to measure it out so you are gluing it directly in the center. And for this part, I want you guys to leave it overnight just because the top is a little heavy, so it takes a little bit longer for it to dry. And using both your E6000 and your hot glue is very important for this part since you want to make sure that the top of your bottle stays in place. The last thing I'm going to do is take these little rhinestone adhesives that I have and just stick them right to the neck of the bottle. And then I'm going to just stick some on along the sides of my bottle top. And here is the finished product. Still look so pretty in your smile, my mind, baby. I'm almost breathing. Tell me why, 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 baby. All right, everyone. So for this second Chanel bottle design, I am essentially going to do the same thing. So feel free to fast forward a little bit through this part if you would like. I'm just removing the hooks as well as the glass and papers inside of my frame. Then I'm gluing my 
glass to one of my frames and then my empty frame on top of that one frame that's glued together with my glass. I'm also going to do the same thing with my third frame and just glue my glass to my third frame. Now I am taking my Dollar Tree pearl beads and I got these in three different sizes. So I got the 40 count, the 60 count, and the 80 count. And I'm just putting some of each size into my frame and I thought this looks so pretty with the black frames. So feel free to put as many pearls as you would like. Now I'm going to glue my third frame that has the other glass attached to it right on to my other set of frames to just seal this together. Apply some weight and it's a bad idea to apply the weight to the center of the glass because it might break. So apply the weight to the edges of the glass and let this dry overnight. All right, so it's the next day and my frames are dry. So I'm going to go ahead and glue on the sheer black ribbon that I got from Michaels and I got it on sale. I'll list it down below. I'm going to just carefully glue it on to the edges of my frames. And guys, be really careful during this part because the ribbon is sheer, so that means the hot glue will touch your fingers try to get these little rubber caps if you can if not just do this really carefully and also don't apply too much glue because then you will definitely be able to see it i actually went back and put a second layer of this ribbon on my frames because I did not like that I could see some glue still through the ribbon. So what I did when I applied the second layer of the ribbon, I just literally put the smallest amount of glue and I put it on, on like every corner of the frame instead of throughout the entire frame and this just made it look a lot cleaner. So I figured it would look really pretty to take my leftover pearls and just glue them on to the front sides of my bottle. So what I did was I took my E6000, not my hot glue gun for this part guys. I took my E6000 and used this to glue the pearls on. And the reason that I did this is because E6000, even though it does give a more permanent hold, it does take longer to dry. So I had some leeway to straighten up my pearls and in case some of them were crooked, I could just adjust them because I knew they weren't going to dry for a few hours. And I love how these pearls framed the front of my bottle. I had a couple more pearls left over, so I just glued them to each corner of the base of my bottle so that when my bottle stands up, it will have these pearls as support and it also looks really nice. Okay, so next I am just gluing together the two C's to form the Chanel logo and then I'm going to glue it on my bottle. But make sure that you guys form the logo separately first just to make sure that it's perfect before you do put it on your bottle.
look so pretty in your smile, my, my, baby. I'm almost breathing, tell me why, 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 baby. Do you look so pretty in your smile, my, 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 Once that's done, we are going to apply our hot glue right behind the logo and make sure again that you don't apply too much glue or that you at least spread out your glue with a wooden stick or anything that you can use to kind of spread out the glue evenly. I'm using hot glue and the E6000 for this part. And don't forget to bring out your measuring tape to make sure that you're placing your logo right in the middle. So last minute, I ended up finding these adhesive pearls from Michaels, and I figured this would be perfect to frame the Chanel logo. I was originally going to use a Dollar Tree mini frame like I did in the first bottle project, the silver one I just made, but it was way too small for this logo, and it was way easier to use these adhesive pearls because I didn't need to add any glue, so it wasn't messy and it was really easy to apply. So just like I did with my last bottle, I am using the vase part only of that little flower pot that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I decided to glue some of my leftover pearls to the top. You call on my life, you break the line, I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind, just all the time, I'm falling for you. Now using my E6000 and my hot glue gun, I'm going to measure and make sure that I glue this cap to the middle of the top of my bottle and make sure that you leave this to dry, preferably overnight. I'm also going to glue the remaining loose pearls across the neck of the bottle top. And this just helps to hide any excess glue and it does add a nice finishing touch. The final thing I am doing is using some of my leftover adhesive pearls and just sticking these vertically along my bottle cap. Once you guys finish sticking those on, we are all done. And I absolutely love how this one came out. You call on my life, you break the line, I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind, just all the time.